One of my favorite Queen songs is Under Pressure. Stick around to find out all about hydraulic steering for boats on today's video. Hi, I'm Sean from Lens Cove Lessons in Boating. And on today's video, we're gonna talk about hydraulic steering instead of cable steering for your outboard powered boat. Now, if you're in the market for boats, new or used, and you haven't considered whether it's gonna be outboard powered or stern dive powered, you may wanna check out this video here. But really today, we're gonna to talk about hydraulic steering on outboard boats. And we're gonna go over the pros and cons and why you might wanna choose it for your next boat. So here's how hydraulic steering really works on an outboard boat. At the helm or the wheel, there is a pump. And when you turn the wheel, that turns the pump. And you are actually putting mechanical force, your muscle, into rotating that pump and pumping the hydraulic fluid from the helm through the tube back to the actuator that's mounted to the engine. And then that actuator transmits the power that you've put into the hydraulic fluid to a motion on the engine, either left or right. And then the fluid continues through the other hose back up to the helm. So it completes a circuit. So you are inputting mechanical force and the hydraulic fluid and then actuator are transmitting it to the engine. That's how it works. The traditional old way of a steering cable Back when outboards were really small and early, they may have actually had a cable that looked more like your clothesline with thin line and pulleys, and then graduated to a cable inside a tube, which went from the helm back to the engine. As engine horsepower increased, they went to a dual cable system because it was much harder to turn the engine when it was under force, because as the prop rotates on an outboard engine, it's not only driving you forward, but it's trying to twist the engine. And so that feedback or torque comes through the cable back to the helm. So on a hydraulic system, one of the benefits is that you don't feel near as much of that steering torque because the liquid, it acts as a buffer in that system and doesn't provide as much feedback. It's also much easier for you to turn because you are turning a pump instead of pushing a long cable through a tube. The other benefit is that it'll allow you to handle much higher horsepower engines. So when people are buying boats, we would recommend at any time that if you're over 115 horsepower outboard, you would likely consider hydraulic steering. There are some cons. The hydraulic steering system is more expensive. So when you go to buy a new boat and ask for hydraulic steering, or you are buying a used boat and have it retrofitted if it doesn't have it, it is a more expensive steering system than a traditional helm and cable. The other downside is that because you're turning a pump at the helm, it takes more turns to go lock from lock. So when you're turning from a hard right to a hard left with a traditional steering cable system, you may turn one and a half to two turns to go from hard right to hard left. With a hydraulic steering system, you may even turn as many as four turns to make that same left to right turn. So at a dock when you're maneuvering, it can take more turns to get your boat docked as you position your boat. The last con is that because it's a liquid, it can leak. And if it leaks, it's much like a brake fluid leaking on your car, air gets in the system and it needs to be bled out before it can work again properly. So there are pros and cons to hydraulic steering. And our recommendation is if it's available and if you're going over 115 horsepower on your outboard, we'd strongly recommend it. Thanks for joining us on today's Lens Cove Lessons in Boating. Make sure you subscribe to get on board for more of these type of videos. If you liked today's video, make sure you throttle that like button, get out on the water, have fun, and stay safe.